we are in Athens, Georgia. He's a bad influence. I would never drink alcohol. So I tried Ryan's beer. I actually don't mind it. Ryan's taking me to a special spot, he said. Hey guys, good morning. It is July 12th and it is currently 10.30 a.m. We are in Athens, Georgia. And if you guys didn't know, this is my boyfriend Ryan and he goes to UGA and I go to UCF in Orlando, Florida. So we do the whole long distance thing and yeah, we're going to Mama's Boy this morning. So it's kind of like an iconic place in Athens, like everyone goes to for breakfast. Mm -hmm. But you know, during like the school year or weekends, mm -hmm. it's like a long line, you can't even get in the building. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it's not bad today. You know what, I didn't even think about like having to wait in line for some reason, but yeah, hopefully we don't have to. They have this like raspberry jam there and it's so, so oh, yeah. yummy. But today after that, we're probably just gonna go to a coffee shop and work. My boyfriend's like literally insane because he brought his computer like just like without a case or anything, but he didn't bring his charger. So it's was like, go bring your charger so we can like work a lot. And then he was like, no, like it's on 48%, like I'll be good the whole day. And I'm like, what in the hell? I would be good for like maybe three minutes on my laptop without my charger, just because I do so much like editing and stuff like that. And like my computer, like, I don't know, needs to be charged like 24 seven, which is so annoying. Also on that topic, holy shit, I'm so pissed because I had to spend like $60, but technically I had a gift card, so I only spent 40. But anyways, my um, charger for my new Mac broke and literally I was just like moving the cord and like the box part of it like dropped on the floor which the box part always drops on the floor it's a cord like who would think to be careful with a cord anyways so basically the part where you stick the USB-C port in got like a little jumbled and like twisted so it wouldn't like stay in and it the cord wouldn't work so I had to replace just the box of my Mac charger and it was like $60 why is like a little freaking box $60 and like also when I why can you plug it in what like all other Macs are hardwired in like why can't yours be yeah but I don't know Apple is just becoming so freaking annoying like I love them to death don't get me wrong because like I'll always have a little place in my heart for you Apple but like also you're freaking pissing me off because literally like chargers nowadays you have to buy the extension cord separately the box separately and the cord to your MacBook separately that's literally insane you guys just want so much money and like why can't you just give the whole cord in one box I swear I used to get like everything in my box when I, I got my first Mac I still have my extension cord from that Mac thank god it still works it's insane how much like separate accessories that we have to buy and especially for me I have the Mac with the um what's it called touch bar display is that what it's called yeah and basically they don't have like a USB port so you have to have all these little dongles that come out of your computer with your hard drive and your um what's it called the usb cord to your phone if you guys aren't like super geeks like me you probably don't know what i'm saying but basically apple just needs to chill with making everything separate and that's all i have to say i feel like whenever i come to athens it's always gloomy i can attest so huh? every time she comes to like gross like raining every time i come like alone even for like months at a time it's just super sunny and nice I don't understand. I think Athens hates me or something. I mean, today's like not the worst I've seen. It's definitely still sunny, but like it doesn't have like a blue sky and it's not like gorgeous out. And I don't know. I want it to be. We are here. I feel like I never really wear makeup in the summer and I really want to get back on the groove of like learning how to put on lashes so now I'm trying to like put them on whenever I can but we had a lash mishap I was so embarrassed so I had to like keep my eyes open really wide so like no one would notice luckily I did bring like lash glue with me 
I just have it in my purse at all times just because I never know when I'm wearing lashes. And this is the Duo Brush on Adhesive with Vitamins and it's in the color dark. But right now, we are gonna go to Starbucks. Usually, I want to go to like a cute coffee shop. It's like the Starbucks on Broad, like the heart of downtown next to the Arch. Yeah, like that Starbucks is really nice and I really wish that UCF would Starbucks have- What? This two-story Starbucks. Yeah, like I really wish that UCF had something like that because like I feel like all the Starbucks at UCF are so tiny that like even if I wanted to go like I would have nowhere to sit and then also like the other coffee shops that you could go to like I would feel so bad like not buying anything and just sitting there for like hours on end and Ryan actually just recently told me um, Starbucks passed like this new rule that um, you don't have to buy anything, you can just like study and like chill there. or something Ryan's in there getting some stuff but I decided I wanted to stay in the car because it's like the best feeling when you're just sitting in kind of like a warm car and you're just like so sleepy I'm like dead right now for some reason whenever I come to Athens I feel like I always need a nap but I did wake up pretty early um I think I woke up like eight or something so that might be why but I got a lot done at Starbucks not everything so I definitely need to go back and do some work but I wanted to get it all done so I could like edit videos and like not have to worry about school. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to my jeans because like these are, I swear, they're so old. Definitely freshman year of high school or something even further back. But they're just like flare um, jeans and I actually cut these two holes out myself. And I think they're so cute. I'm definitely so glad I kept all my flare jeans because they're definitely coming back into style now. It's funny because Ryan said that I look like Joanna Gaines when I wear these. So it's funny because I just vlogged at Kroger, but we are back at Kroger and it's currently four. Um, and we are going to go get some Starbucks happy hour. Tell them why we're here at four o'clock. You tell them. Salty. She napped for two and a half hours. And it felt great. That's what I really needed. Hydrate. So I got an ice white mocha, right? Ice white chocolate mocha. Oh, ice white chocolate mocha. And he got, what did you get? Salted cold foam cold brew. This looks cooler than mine. But you said it didn't look, didn't look good in the car. Yeah. Ooh, that looks cool. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> He's a bad influence. I would never drink cold. Like that? Yeah, but I didn't taste the coffee part. I just sneeze. <laughs> Not as pretty anymore, but it's like kind of cool. Yeah. I was telling Ryan if I could get like this type of foam on top of my ice white mocha, then that would be so good because it's like salty and that's sweet. And I don't know. I feel like that would just be so freaking good. But I don't know if they would do that. You so. get one of the best drinks. Huh? You get one of the best ones on the menu. This is so good. Honestly, like I've been seeing like everyone's like ask me questions on Instagram and everyone says like what's your Starbucks order? Everyone says the ice white mocha. Ew. I don't even know who I am talking about coffee like that. Like I know what I'm talking about. And I don't want to be like this. I don't want to like Starbucks. It's so good though. I know, but I'm going to like spend all my money. You just start drinking coffee at home where it's not that good. Then you go get good coffee and you're like shit, like, this is really good. No, I can't start doing that because I need I'm to saying, save money. If you just bought Starbucks, you wouldn't appreciate it really. Like. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Well, good. I'm not going to start making coffee at home then. So we are in the back roads 
and I thought we would take some pics really quick. Just like an angel set me free. Where are you now? Do you feel safe? I don't need an answer, just need some space. Cameraman Ryan, what did, what would you rate this photo shoot? Six and a half. That's better than usual, I feel like. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty fast, efficient. I'm gonna show you a little bit. We're sweating balls, but it's gonna be okay. Guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm literally sweating so bad. Your face is like dripping. Is it? Mm hmm Can you actually tell? Can you actually tell? Could you tell in the pictures? Mm, not in the pictures, but here you can kind of see it. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, we, what are we doing now? Downtown or something? Yeah, I guess. What do you want to do? Turn on the AC in the truck. Damn. Please. So we got in the car and started driving and then I was like, wait, where's my phone? And so he started calling it because, you know, I just thought it would be somewhere in the car and like actually be in here, but it was actually like on the road. I think I put it on his like truck and it like flew off the car, but the case was like all over the place. And my cards were in it too, so that would have been really bad if I like forgot any of my cards, but it's okay. My phone's safe, my cards are safe, everything's all good. So this is a new place in Athens. Well, at least new since the last time I came. And look how freaking pretty those flower things are. I'm obsessed with it. We're currently in Five Points, and he was just showing me some houses that yeah. were really cute. Good job in Athens, you had to move those. Mm -hmm. She showed you they're nice. So we are downtown and we are actually going to go to Creature Comforts. We were supposed to come here for Ryan's birthday to Athens and go to that one. And what was that other one you Someone said? Someone did Terrapin. Oh. Well I wanted to come and something happened so we couldn't come. But it's okay because we get to do a redo today. So you can try all the beers you want. And I can drive uh, your- free though. Yeah. Yeah that's true. Wait, they would have given you free beer? Yeah. Like how many? Just a cup? Uh, I mean, you get like try everything for free. Oh shit, that's cool. The little fuck things out here. Mm. I feel like I always want to do a mukbang or a mukbang or whatever, but like I don't like I don't want to like buy that much junk food, you know. You just buy like, real food and eat in the car. Yeah, but I feel like the whole reason is just like buying just a bunch of junk food. I don't know. It's just I've never my seen one really. So understanding no. of it, but we are headed to Taqueria del Sol. Our first time trying it, so. Let's see how I know. I've good. been living here for like three years, seen everyone's Instagram stories, and be like, damn, I need to try that. Honestly, and then never going. There's one on Ponce de Leon. There's one like this, and it looks like the exact same, but I literally just heard of it last year. Damn. So I didn't even know it existed this whole time. But our usual taco place is Taqueria La Peria. Taqueria La Peria. They have like the best freaking fish tacos, but. And the salsa's so good. 
Here, the sauce is not very good. I can already tell it's a three little bowls. Like, let me try them, you know? Oh. Like, well, oh well, let's go try it and see. Pup dates coming soon. Pup dates coming soon. So an update on the tacos, I definitely was not impressed by that place at all. Like the queso was good and the salsa was good, but like, I don't know, I just don't believe that you can just sell tacos that look like fish sticks and not even like care to put anything else in them other than like jalapenos because I could totally make that at home, which yeah, I shouldn't be complaining I sh and I should definitely make them at home next time, but I don't know. I feel like there should have been like way more like toppings in there, like at least like coleslaw kind of cabbage stuff. But anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here for the night unless we do anything else. And I will see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, it is the morning after. It is July 13th. It Friday is Friday the 13th. <laughs> and we are starting our day off at Athens bagel and I've never tried it and neither have Ryan so we'll see what all the hype is about. ABC is usually Atlanta Bread Company but it's also Athens Bagel Company. Damn. Is Atlanta Bread Company in Florida? Do they have that? Um, I don't know. So people I don't, don't honestly, know what the hell that even is. <laughs> well, honestly I don't think so because I, I've only seen like I've Panera seen Roswell, but like really. honestly like I haven't seen Atlanta Bread Company in a while. Where is it? Or by Alessio's and like Oh, right. Guys, we got the goods. I think we're going to have a little picnic. Ryan's taking me to a special spot, he said. Spoon? Oh, damn, that pickle spear. Yeah, honestly. Wait, can you just... You have a bigger box. It ain't all gonna fit in here. When someone rings a bell, usually it's after a like athletic victory. But really you can ring it for any personal victories, like a good grade, A on a test, like maybe pass a test, like really get any personal victory, but usually it's after a football victory or basketball or something good that happens. Mm -hmm. Just anything that you feel happy, you ring it, you just celebrate. So guys, we are at 1,000 faces. We're gonna have a little work day again because you know, your girl always has freaking work to do. We were gonna try a new one, but I don't think anything beat like 1,000 faces aesthetic, so we chose this one.